Because we have a limited time, I have pages and pages of questions, but I'm going to try to jam it all into uh, one big long question for you. <laughs> um, so uh, what I'd love is if you could discuss developing both cinematically and literally the alien language, and if you can mix into that your relationship with Denis Villeneuve, our direct, your director, who you've got a long-term relationship with, and how uh, you arrived at a lot of the, the shapes and the, you know, take whatever of that you want. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a yeah, huge that question. A question. Okay. You can take any part. Okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll try to. What those parts are. Okay, <laughs> we um, we started the journey of uh, of arrival a bit before we started the pre-production on uh, on Sicario actually, and uh, we actually did not know we were going to do a, a, a sci-fi movie. But uh, I happened to to be in LA and I visited the the LACMA, and there was an exhibit of James Terrell. So that's part one. Part two, at the same moment, Denis Villeneuve is in uh, New York City uh, with his girlfriend, and they, they go to the Guggenheim, and they see a uh, James Durrell <laughs> exhibit. Okay. All right, so now we're on, uh, on the pre-production uh, during Sicario, and uh, we, we, we talk about art, as we always do, and say, you know what, there's an amazing exhibit that I saw at the LACMA, and I... And he goes, I saw the uh, same artist in New York. I said, well, if ever we do a sci-fi, I think it should be, you know, the, the thing that should ignite our discussion. This, I totally agree. Okay, cut after, uh, after Sicario. And uh, we start prepping. And we, did the, we were lucky enough. We had 14, our producers gave us 14 weeks of soft prep just to throw ideas around, like play ping pong, uh, Denis and I. And uh, during that, uh, that period, uh, we came up with the, uh, the idea of, uh, of the shell, of the, uh, the, of, of the spaceship. Uh, we tried many different shapes. Uh, there wasn't even an oyster shape, because uh, Denis and I love oysters, and we said <laughs> maybe that could be something so you write interesting. It off. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I should have kept all the receipts, yeah, huh? that's what see, you're saying. You see, you're slipping. <laughs> Got to be thinking, man, all the time. They're not God. always buying for us. <laughs> nah, so... Um, so we tried many, uh, many shapes, and uh, one day Denis said, uh, uh, hey, I, I, in, in my research I saw this, this uh, exoplanet around Venus, and it's, uh, it's oval shape, it's called Eumea. And uh, so we looked at, oh, oval, that's, that's pretty interesting. So we decided that our ship was gonna be oval and uh, made out of rock. The, the made out of rock was a very uh, early idea. And, uh, we um, we decided to put it uh, vertical, and then I had the stupid idea to hey let's not let's not have it land let's let's have it hovering over the earth. <laughs> so I say yeah, but how do they get in? Uh, uh, hey, let's use a scissor lift. <laughs> so then he looks at me and goes, are you out of your mind? And I say, well, you know, let's 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 you know let's let's draw it up. Yeah, let's let's see what it looks. You know, so. So we had the orange uh, azmat suit, and we had these guys on the scissor lift, and in the first drawings, and uh, and the shape, like, and, and then we, you know, on the on the SketchUp, uh, the illustrations, we were like, hmm, the oval, uh, it's a bit boring. So let's, so we, we we put it concave, we pushed it inside, and we just elongated it, elongated, elongated, elongated. 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 Thank you, and um, <laughs> we uh, so from 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 that idea. Okay, we get in, uh, but uh, in the script, it's a long corridor. So we said, okay, that's now a shaft. I'm sorry, Denny. So we had the idea of like, okay, let's, let's create the... The idea behind the, 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 the 28 feet above the hovering above the ground was to have the human beings do the extra mile uh, for that first encounter. Because uh, I th we thought it was interesting. It was supporting the story and the short story as well the script and the short story uh, concept. And uh, then, in, then inside, uh, we decided to, put, uh, to, to, like, to do a, uh, a gravity shift, which was like the leap of faith for the human beings. And uh, the interior of the ship became uh, like sediment rocks to represent um, uh, the wisdom and the, uh, and the, 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 the layers of uh, history that, that, uh, and time that uh, that culture had. 
And uh, then we decided to um, use the same concept of the ship uh, with um, Louise, uh, Amy Adams' character's house, and where she, uh, you, you saw it in, the, uh, in the, the beginning, the preview there. So uh, that big window, you know, so just like in the interview chamber where, where they meet the, the heptapods. And uh, we also apply that principle uh, to the university where she teaches. So you, I don't know if you remember, but in the, you saw that. And uh, we, we used a university that was a brutalist architecture, so to have the, all the lines in the, uh, you know, in the concrete like that, in the texture. And um, yeah, so what can I say more? Oh yeah, the interior of the ship is black and the interior of the tents is white, so there's the contrast. Uh, the interior is very minimalist. And it was, uh, we wanted to have the, to convey the idea that uh, it was uh, like a Buddhist temple, very, uh, very Zen, uh, as opposed to where the humans are in the tents. It's white, it's, it's over, uh, there's a lot of wires, exposed wire that Paul uh, did all the computer screens. And it's total chaos because uh, we're humans and uh, we cannot deal with the, the stress of having aliens visiting us on a rainy <laughs> Tuesday morning. Um, and besides that, the, uh, the, one, one of the big, big challenge we had was the language. And uh, we tried many things. We spoke to many uh, specialists, uh, language specialists, and uh, it was always, always very human. And we wanted, to, we wanted the language to be just like the ship, something very alien looking and very uh, different from, from human technology. And uh, I was hitting a wall and uh, my, my, my lovely wife, uh, who's an artist, Mertzen Bertrand, decided, she said, can, can I help you? I said, yeah, I think I need help. <laughs> and uh, you know, just, just a bit like the movie, it's, it's a, we, we need help from others. And, um, and uh, she came up with these, uh, the aesthetics of the logogram. All these circles, uh, and uh, it was wonderful. And we said that Eureka, we, 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 we found the language, Danny and I. So um, then on, we, there's stories about how to, we made the language a real language using uh, all, all the, like the, dividing it with the, just like a, a, a pie, like a, just like a pie, you know, pie pieces, pie slice. And uh, so we made a dictionary. So. That was good. So that's good. Is, is that enough? Uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, and Denis, uh, Denis is, uh, is a wonderful person, and uh, we love working with him. And uh, he's uh, working with Denis. It's a collaborative effort, and uh, he's the furthest away from a, a dictator. He's just the sweetest guy ever, and uh, everybody's entitled to uh, to uh, their ideas because doing. He understands that. Making a film is a team effort, and there's a lot of people involved. And um, even the, the, the head of departments, we rely on our team. Um, and that's, that, that's, that's, that's the beauty of, of movie making. It's taming the beast, which is the, which is the, the script, and trying to make it, always make it better. Well, Jan, you got an answer as long as your question. <laughs> Anything to add? They were rehearsing this up front, uh, so this, is, this was not uh, improv uh, improvisation. It was uh, improvisation. <laughs> um, um, but um, both to, to both of you gentlemen, um, what aspects of the story's realization most sort of challenged you guys and ultimately gave you the most satisfaction in solving? Because there's a lot of logistics. You're creating a science of linguistics, a science of time and space. Uh, you're dealing with the realities of emergency and civil response to phenomenon that we only he see in movies, we never experience in real life. And so that's a lot of different parts, both um, uh, as we were talking about organic and nurturing and very linear and um, destructive or conflictive. And I'm just curious how you guys sort of broke down the work and pulled all those parts together and, and what was your hurrah or what was your Waterloo? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go first? Or? Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> reading and reading back the script, first thing. You have, that's one thing. So I read the script about four times before knowing where I was going. And I had time to, uh, with Patrice as well, we had like a two weeks, 10 days just together. No teammates coming in yet, so we had time to talk, 
to see possibilities and everything and all of that. And afterwards, well, we've got into, for myself, dressing-wise, into the military part, because for dressing-wise, it was a big part of the movie. And when you talk about logistic, it was big logistic, because we started with partly studio, and then had to think about going away with all of the same elements. So both being used at the same, almost at the same time. So this was organization, logistic with our dressers and all of that. A lot of research has to be done as for all of what you see on screen, everything military. Since I don't have a military uh, <laughs> background, I had to learn at the same time that type of language and everything in a situation. So we had to figure out with Patrice and Denis, what kind of situation in emergency. And for Denis, it was always the same word coming back. It's reality. I don't want to change anything from what it was supposed to be if military people will be intervening. So that's the way we approach uh, that part. Without, uh, and with think at the same time, you had to think about other sets as well. So it's uh, logistic, coordination, administration, it's all of that. And you, uh, there's a lot of uh, ingoing politics that we have to organize with people and all of budget. It's uh, something very important for oh us that. to yeah, respect. And, and, and we did not have a, a huge budget. And either. this has, yeah, that's it. That's the kind of movie we started that it wasn't a big budget movie. So we had to figure out different ways of using several elements several times the same way not the same way but different ways and all of that so that's the way uh, just an example of the tent we've purchased and we had they came one tent came with interior white lining but these guys had the flash saying hey paul let's make all of the tent with interior lining oops budget issue <laughs> so we had to figure out something else and uh, we did and uh, we've done it so an example yeah um, we're actually at that magic time sorry. so um, I asked you all your questions. yeah no I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> no but it was a great answer are it's you kidding good answer. ladies and gentlemen So can we run our next clip piece for Fantastic Beasts?